So let's take a more serious look at what's probably going to happen in with legacy and vintage cards. A lot of people are responding to Martin trying to sell their lotuses for $25,000. They're trying to take, um, you know, MTG Finance really just only cares about money. They don't enjoy Magic the Gathering the game. They don't even play the game for the most part. And when there's an opportunity to make money, like selling cards to Martin, they definitely will. Now, is the reserve list going to go away? Probably not. I expect what's going to happen is Legacy and Vintage, the price will go up. I mean, Martin is known for skyrocketing drug prices 5,000%. Will the price of Legacy and Vintage go up 5,000%? I don't know. Maybe. So what's happening here is we have a card game that is meant to be played but instead it's because of mtg finance i blame this solely on mtg finance there's no other way you can slice it because right now that's what they wanted to do they bought a black lotus at five thousand dollars they want to sell it for twenty five thousand dollars the same with any of the cards that have recently spiked the goal of mtg finance is not to build community. I hate when the MTG Finance people say that. We're going to build community. By what? Making cards more expensive? That's going to somehow build community? I never believed in that for a second. That they were in it. They've been in it just for themselves. That's the only point of doing MTG Finance. Is because you want to make money. You want to make lots and lots of money. From a collectible card game. And the best example. Someone like this. Martin was voted the most hated person the most hated person in America. And that's what MTG Finance is. People in MTG Finance can't understand why people don't like them. Why? You know, why would I never want to be called an MTG Finance channel? It's because of this notion that you can... It's because of the notion that you're destroying the game so you can line your own pockets. And no better example of this than Martin. We don't need to even talk about Craig anymore. Craig is a small fist. He doesn't matter at all. Marty can drop, he can drop and act like several thousand Craigs if he wanted to. So now, from now on, I will refer to MTG Finance people as Martins because that's what they're trying to do. They're taking a drug and they're inflating the price. Did the drug cost more to make suddenly? No, it cost the same amount of money. Then why and why is it worth Five, why did you have to increase it 5,555% I believe is the exact number the same reason that they need to inflate magic cards that much money so at the end of the day Legacy and Vintage they're over, it's over it's over as soon as you have one Martin in and then another Martin will go in and another Martin and a Martin friend and then you have a mutual fund MTG Finance does not love Magic the Gathering they are, in my opinion, the sole catalyst for destroying Legacy and Vintage. And why no one plays those two formats anymore. So, congrats, MTG Finance. You did what you always wanted to do. Make money for yourselves.